Allow me to reintroduce myself, my name is What's good, YouTube? It's your boy TTG Green Bean, aka Walking Bucket Alert. We back, baby, and I'm coming at y'all with another NBA 2K20 news video, man. Like I told y'all, I got y'all. You feel me? Now, in this video, I am going to tell you guys right now, this is a part two to my last video that I made yesterday. If you haven't seen that one, make sure you go check that one out first. It's about the new badges being introduced into NBA 2K20. So this one is the part two of that, okay? Again, these are all coming from Mike Wang's Twitter. So go to, uh, follow him on Twitter if you haven't already, okay? Let's get into it. Gang! Now, like I told you guys now, uh... Mike Wang tweeted some more, gave us some more information on some more badges, new badges being introduced into NBA 2K20. There's over 80 badges total, man. So there's a bunch of new badges, I can assume. Um, I'm more than sure we're going to get a whole um, blog or whatnot about all the badges and what they actually do and stuff like that. But right now, we just got to go with what we got. So let's go ahead and get into the first new badge here. Now, someone tweeted, are we going to be get to save the ball animation on the sidelines where we can actually save the ball and not just die for the ball? He said, yeah, we can. We also added the ability to pass out mid-dive so you don't have to wait till you get all the way to the seated position before. So, that's good, man. So, basically what he's saying is, you know how when the, there'll be a loose ball, something like that, and you chasing after the ball, and you dive on it. But you can't like save it when it's going out of bounds or anything like that. Or you got to turn all the way on your back and then sit up in order to pass it. He's saying that there's a animation now that they introduced that where you can just dive and throw it back in bounds. You can actually save the ball rather than just laying out of bounds. Okay. So the next one here we got someone asked, will we see a step back badge this year? He said ankle breaker is still the main badge for more effective step back dribble moves. There's a new badge called the space creator. For more effective step back jumpers, okay? Uh, most of you guys have already seen Ticino play, man. Ticino is the king of the shot creators, man. This badge, you know how Ticino, when he's driving and stuff like that, or going to the right, he'll do a little step back and then, you know, shoot a little fall and shot and stuff like that. Basically, that space creator uh, badge is supposed to be more so effective for that. You see Duke, do Duke Dennis do it with his uh, shot creating stretch big as well. So, there's the actual badge for that. So, that's good, man. Let's go ahead and get to the next one here. He said, Tyler score was removed and its function broken up into two separate badges. Relentless finisher and tireless shooter. And yes, the badges still have four levels. So, let's go ahead and get into this. So, relentless finisher, we all know what relentless finisher is. You know what I'm saying? When you drive to the lane and you finish in all complicated layups and stuff on people. Well, apparently... That plays a factor into the, the broken up Tyler score badge now. And now we also have Tyler shooter. So that should be interesting, man. I think it'll be harder to get the Tyler shooter badge because you physically have to be tired in order to uh, shoot in order to get that badge. But it's all right, man, because normally in the Tyler score badge, you can be tired, but you can still go hit a layup or something like that. You get what I'm saying? And then there's four levels. So there's still the bronze, silver, gold and Hall of Fame. So that's good. There were some questions on that. Now, the next one here is Euro Step is Euro Specialist gonna be in NBA 2K20 or is it gonna still be called Acrobat? He said there's a badge called Fancy Footwork that helps you get past defenders with advanced gathers on the floor, and Acrobat is still there to help you finish at the rim. Okay, so Acrobat is still in the game. There is a specific badge that's going to be uh, for Euro Steps, Hop Steps, I would assume. Uh, you know, dribble, spin out, you know, drive and spin and stuff like that. There's fancy footwork to help you maneuver and finesse your way to the rim around the defenders and stuff like that. That's going to be cool, man. But I wonder if that's going to play a factor into like the post scores and stuff like that. And if that's going to help their footwork while they're, uh, 
you know, posting somebody up and stuff like that. Because if so, man, that's going to be a little hard to stop. But we just going to have to wait and see. Now, let's go ahead and get to the next one here. Someone tweeted, you guys bring it back post hook specialist. He said, yeah, it's called deep hooks. It's the Kareem badge. Now, I don't know how I feel about this one, man. I can't have nobody at the free throw line, the borderline three-point line, shooting sky hooks, you know what I'm saying, and cashing them bad boys, man. I don't know how I feel about that because um, the part that scares me is deep hooks. I, I agree there should be a hook shot badge because, I mean, there needs to be a hook shot badge, obviously. But deep hooks, that's aggressive, man. I don't know how I feel about that. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about that. I think, I guess the big man would like it, of course. But for us guards and stuff, since we got to guard them and stuff, it's harder to guard big man as it is as a guard. But them being able to hit a deep hook? A deep hook? Yeah, 2K. I don't know how I feel about that one. Okay. The next one here, we got what are the passing uh, badges looking like this year out of Dimer? Outside of Dimer, Flashy Passer, Lost City uh, Passer. Pick and roll maestro, which remain or which are gone. He said pick and roll maestro is gone and being replaced by needle threader, which does a similar thing but extends to other passing situations, not just limited to pick and roll situations. So that's good. So pick and roll is gone. Pick and roll maestro is gone, and apparently this needle threader bag fills in for pick and roll, but it also a pick and roll maestro, but it also like I guess if you set a pick or something like that, you can still throw it to someone in the corner, not necessarily the person who's rolling. Needle threader badge will still pop up. I guess you threading the needle on defense, or you know, I like in football they say you thread the needle and throw a little pipe pass in there and stuff like that. So I guess that badge would be pretty cool. I mean, I would love to see what it actually all it entails and stuff like that, and what it can actually help and what it doesn't help and stuff like that. But that's a new badge, man. So here's the last one I think we have here. Uh, even though volume shooter is a positive only, are we still going to have microwave? He said, microwave was redesigned and changed to a hot start. If you have this badge and you knock down your first jumper, you get a boost to your shot ratings for a period of time. The more shots you hit, hit knock down without missing, the longer you will keep your boost. So, um, I guess that with pure sharpshooters, I think that badge will help you guys out a lot for sure if you're hitting shots consistently, man. But those are it. That's all we have so far. I'm still going to be looking out for more information. We're almost at our goal at 500 uh, subscribers. We're doing a giveaway at 500, man. Please hit that subscribe button, man. Green team, baby! We out this thing. Peace.